Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of It's Bandit O'Clock Series 2. This week we finish stripping a bike down. I'm going to start off by draining the oil out of the bike, then I'm going to move on, I'm going to take the back wheel out, I'm going to take the front end out, then I'm going to take the exhaust system off, oil cooler, a few of the little brackets and bits and bobs that are left, and then it will be time to take the engine out, which should be quite fun by myself. So let's crack on and get going. So I've got my 21mm socket on my half inch ratchet, I've got my old oil bottle with a funnel to drain it into and as a little tip I've put a tie wrap down the side just to let a bit of air in just so the funnel doesn't get filled up too quickly so I'll crack on with it now. Now, while that's draining out, I'm going to move on to getting the back wheel out. So, next job, back wheel out. I've got my 24mm ring spanner. Tighten on to the back wheel. Now, I'm going to take the washer off, I'm going to take the adjuster block off as well, put that on the side, and I'm going to use my persuading stick just to help get the spindle out. Might need a little bit more persuasion. Try and keep the wheel level so it's easier to get out. Unhook the chain. Don't lose your spacers. And there we go. The back wheel's been removed. Now you may be wondering why after taking the back wheel out I'm not going to take the swing arm out. Well the ABBA stand that I've got it lifted up on which is really really handy to have in such a tight working space. It actually lifts the bike from the swing arm pivot point which has the bolt going through it. So I couldn't actually take the swing arm out if I wanted to. It's going to be one of the last things I do just before I take the engine out. So what I'm going to do now is move over to the front end. So the next thing I'm doing is removing the front end. I need to undo this nut here that's got four slots in it. You can buy specialist tools, uh, but a flathead screwdriver, quite a big one, does work. So because the front end suspended, normally after a couple of taps, that would be loose and you could undo it with your fingers. But because obviously all the weight's being pulled down, it might take a few more goes. So let me see how I get on. There we go, I've took the weight of the front end and now 
can unscrew it. And there we have it, the front end has been removed. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, take the exhaust system off. It's not been on there that long, so all these bolts should come out nicely. I've got my six mil Allen key, it's quite a long one, so I can reach up to the bolts. And top little tip is if you use, say, an a 10 mil or even an 8 mil socket you can put it over there for a little bit extra reach and then they come undone so that one's nice and loose that one's nice and loose that one's nice and loose move to the middle and if you see here the socket just gives you a bit of extra reach because you'd struggle and then they come undone now I do like my max torque cans exhaust system I got from Martin and Buzzgo I think that's how you say it always terrible with those but it is one of the best fitting exhaust systems I've ever fitted to a bike. Most of them you get that come from China or wherever. They're, they're almost there, but sometimes you have to pull the pipes apart or something like that. But this just slides straight in. Like, I've, like I say, I've never had such a, a well fitting exhaust. I'd almost say it's better than standard. <laughs> Right, all I need to do now is undo the can and then I can wiggle it off. I'm going to take it off in one piece. Now I need to be careful when I take this out because it will come away. So bear with me. And there we have it, one exhaust system removed. Okay, so the big stuff's done. Now it's just the boring bits like the footrest hangers, bits and bobs, few little brackets, caliper, shock, just little bits and bobs. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of me just stripping them down, getting them done, and then we can move on to the last big job which is taking the engine out. So, yeah, cue the time lapse. That is the one thing I do like about this Abbott stand. You can just spin the bike around nice and easy. Okay, so I got everything stripped off the other side I need stripping off. Now it's just the last few bits on this side. 
got the rear foot rest hangers, the front ones, I've got the uh, front sprocket cover to take off, uh, I've also got the seat lock which I need a tiny little security bit which I'll show you in a moment, um, the side stand and then the oil cooler and then it will be time to take the bandit off the ABBA sky lift and then take the engine out. So I've got my tiny little security bit that fits in there just nicely. I'm going to give it a little tap just to make life easier. One lock and cover removed. So I can actually put those back in there so I don't lose the security bolts. So, same as the other side, the old Fredlock's original. Oh. Makes some good fun getting the bolts out. I'm going to take the gear lever off at the front just to make my life easier taking the hanger off. socket trick with my 5mm allen key just to get these undone Now I'm going to take this off and what I'll do is I'll put all the bolts through a piece of cardboard in the order that they come out in just so I know where they go back when I finally come to take the pipe back together. One last one and the slave cylinder everyone forgets. So 
So I'm going to loosen the bolts at the top of the oil cooler. Now I'm going to let the oil cooler drain out, take it off at the front, and then it's time to put the bike on the floor. Now the bike is off the ABBA stand. That was quite a job, I had to get a second pair of hands to help me out there. But we got it off and it's now on the floor. And you may think, why are you doing it on the floor? But I've got a little trick I'll show you how to get the engine out nice and easy on the floor by yourself. So, before I do that, I'm going to take the swing arm out, just to make life easier. So I'm going to start that now. I've got my 24mm socket. I'm going to put my 19 on the other side. Start to spin. There we go, that's out. Now I should I take that out one spindle, which is nice and greased up, which is good to see. swing up now the first thing to get the engine out we have to take the removable frame cradle out so I'm going to use 6mm allen key and a 14mm socket so we have two bolts here two bolts there two bolts around the other side Shows the last time I did this, it's not 6mm, it's probably 8 So there we go. 8mm. That was loose. So those two are 6mm, so I was half right. Loosen these ones just down here at the bottom as well. Just to make it easier. A little bit tight around here. So I'm just going to use 40mm spanner. Two left to do, which are right at the front of the engine. Just there. Ooh, that one hurt. But very dry bolts. As you can see, very, very dry. So, one last one. We're nearly there. Oh. One more. 
last rusty bolt. So this cradle here should, he says, come out. That's the cradle removed, it's going to make getting the engine out a lot easier. We're almost there. There's two bolts at the back, which I took the nuts off, I just need to slide the bolts out. But I'm going to get the engine out by myself. So, what I need to do, and you may notice the pillow's there, the chain's gone. I'm going to lay the bike down on its side now. So. Here goes. So the bike is now on its side. There's two bolts here. There's the top one, slides out nicely, and then there's a little spacer just there. And then we've got one more just at the back here. which is going to slide out nicely as well. So, double check, yes. In theory, the engine should come out the frame now. So, what I'm going to have to do is give it a bit of a wiggle. So, I'm almost there. You have to sort of twist it and pull it and then and then the frame has been removed from the engine and the airbox comes out really easy so I wouldn't recommend to doing this if you've got a nice frame with nice paint unless you've got something protective on the floor but you can get the engine out by yourself without lifting it <sighs> bit of sweat on my brow so that's it for another episode of its bandit o'clock series two don't forget to uh, give us a share and a comment and a like and a subscribe and all those things everyone else says tune in next week to see what i get up to Am I going to sort the gearbox out? Am I going to get the frame powder coated? Or am I going to do something completely different? Who knows? You'll find out next week. We'll see you later.